welcome everybody in today's discussion we are going to be talking about the five worst matchups in straight fighter for history my opinion okay so we're gonna be uh talking about them unveiling them one at a time and then we're gonna watch matches of each uh matchup okay so these are the five worst these things are fucking absolutely horrendous and uh i would not wish my worst enemy to have to play any of these matchups in bracket okay with that being said as always like the video comment below let me know what you think what do you think are the worst pass uh possible matchups do you agree with me is there something else i, I missed up i don't know who cares but regardless subscribe i appreciate you let's get on the road so now number one is seth versus zangief holy smokes this shit was ass why was this ass let's watch let us watch against and see how terrible this was. So on the left right now, we have player one, Aqua. So Aqua is an uh, opportunity. I don't, I don't trust commentary from this era because it was before esports. So we're going to just mute the video, okay? I just, yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. What the f <laughs> is what is he toe tapping what was that bro why did he just toe tap across the screen like that what what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to do anybody anybody advice no of course not this shit is tragic bro he's playing dalsum with a command grab in in cammy's body like Oh yeah, also that was hit invincible if you didn't know that. So even when he gets in, the mix is <laughs> bruh. Mind you, you have to guess, is he gonna EX DP me or is he going <laughs> if he does EX command grab? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Nah, you can't be you can't be losing this, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, Geef had didn't he have like more health in this game? Oh shit. Ah! Toe tap. <laughs> Can't jump. <laughs> Yo, this is so depressing, bro. How did how do you how do you go into a bracket knowing that this is what you have to face? Bruh. Oh, he lariated? Oh my goodness. Bruh. This is not this is not looking good. You're not supposed to be losing these rounds. What's wrong with you? But even so, I mean the Seth player is just I guess not good, but Oof. Yeah, this is top tier in these days is a different level of toxicity. It makes everything look mild in comparison. Oh, you remembered how to play the character? Bro, you saw how fast he recovered? Bro, he completely for he was like, I don't want I don't want the combo. I just want the fucked up situation. Bro, there's that's that's not fair, man. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> oh yeah, cool side switch. Oh brother. Oh the wall jump. Oh, I got everything. This is the he was the first Mugen character. Oh. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is about to do so much damage. Bro. Doesn't matter though, I'm playing Seth. Dead. <laughs> Yo, he's actually dead. Isn't that crazy? No, he's like literally dead. Watch. Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. But he could have did like fireball, teleport, and then just EXDP'd him and shipped him out. That shit is. That shit is toxic. That matchup is easily, easily top.
top five worst matchups. All right. The next match. Drum roll, please. Yun versus Dalsum. Oh, brother. This. Yeah. This was not cool. Uh, hang in there. Oh, champ's now donned with sunglasses. This might be to hide the blinding beating he's afraid of getting from uh, <laughs> Dago's Yun. I did watch champ play a good match yesterday against Julio. He didn't quite pull it out, but he had some uh, excitement Oof. against Yun. Champ draws first blood. So, that's something, right? Dalsum <laughs> having to get out of this shit. No yeah, this. this Bro, I, I don't even have to say anything. Like Just look at the dive kicks. The oh, angles are so awkward. One. Like, oh, no. you have to be so preemptive with your style of play, and then he's doing little bits of damage. See, like, he's hitting him for small dips, and Yun is breathing on him and taking away massive chunks. You know. Look at this. Oh, that has not paid off for him so far. And now oh my goodness. Look at the look at his life. Look at his life. Mix up. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so ass. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's looking a little lost right now. Cringing. As am I. There's no Dude way. With the uh, sweet Ollie there into the air. All right, champ in there again. Look, you see how he's playing so preemptive, but when he hits him, it doesn't do anything. Terrible from the long range. Bruh. But once Young gets in there, it's just. All right, what'll it be? It's academic. This is easily going to be the shortest match. And Dawson with no answer to that shoulder check. At least none that I've yet seen. Oh, just ridiculous pressure. This is so bad. We're going to watch match. two matches in the and span. Of Everyone's just one match that we just watched. Ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of crazy. Daigo's actually smiling right now. What just happened there? Oh, I missed that one. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of damage from <laughs> Bruh. Oh, stuff, man. But more can get going. This is just a look at the. Pass. Oh my goodness. And none of his lights comboed into anything. Oh, yeah, brother. Really is he it. dead? Can, uh, oh, he's alive. Okay. We got some? Maybe? Okay. Oh, he got around. Got around, guys. Daigo's like, uh, what, what day is it today? Oh, my bad. I forgot I was playing. Okay, back to this scheduled ass whooping. Yep. Oh, this is a very dangerous place. Let's see if he can escape. No. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Bruh. Bruh. Nice challenge there from Daigo. Fake shoulder. Oh, oh he got him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, his <laughs> ultra, you could meaty him and cancel it. Into an event. What? That, that doesn't even oh, make sense. Man. The one thing he has going for him, and he can't even rely on it. And you could grab battle. Like, it, that shit is. Oh, man. This matchup was gruesome. Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. So, let's go to number three. Number three. It's going to be Sagat versus Zangief. Oh, my goodness. This shit is brutal. Let's see. Mind you, Snake Eyes was like our he best is, player the king. at this time. Recently beaten Ryan Hart in tournament and in casuals. Can this was. Canada Cup happened? I walked by. They were playing a casual set, right? I walked by. It said one to zero. Let's just let's just observe this. It's okay. This is whatever. This is standard. Yeah, that's cheap. Whatever. I don't care. All right. Well, clearly, the thing about Sagat is he did a lot of damage, right? He did a lot of damage. So, the one thing Geef had going for him would be his health differential and the fact that, you know, he can he has really good pokes and stuff like that. But Sagat has those things too. On top of that, having a DP and a fireball. Look at his health already. 
the fireball pushback was absolutely insane so in, in a game like this when you block a fireball it, it was pretty much a punish you, you didn't want to block a fireball in this matchup because of how far back you got pushed and then you'll now be in a range where fireball trap can be established because they're far enough away to where if you block the next fireball yeah you're, you're screwed this is the mix up to close the round. Either way. Oh, or not. Walk up. Either way. Oh, nice. Damn. Ah, oh, brother. The matchup. Oh, yeah. The matchup, bro. <laughs> Speaks for itself. It's the king. Can't throw a low tiger. Nice DP. See, that it, it just it forces Sagat to play patiently in a way that he didn't have to. Before. It's true. It's true. Wow. Oh, nice. That was a good anti -air. Can't get out though, Oof. Bro, Stan Roundhouse did 120 nice. damage. That is as much damage as a DP, guys. Oh, Street Fighter 6. Chooses to approach with jab green hand there rather than medium punch green hand, which is the new one that gets too close after pile driver. Interesting choice. Medium punch uh, green hand is what you should be using. Oh, that, Ooh, that, that gets you close. It's punish. And you're so close too afterward, but he did the jab one, which left him farther away. Oh, FADC back dash. <laughs> Toxic. Oh yeah, Roundhouse hit uh, on Crouching Zangief. Right? That, was about. Yeah, that was another was reason why the matchup was rough. That one that button just did around. so much damage right and had so much utility. And I tired. That was the do-it-all button. Yeah, great job that shit was basically Bo Jackson. Really fighting for that space. Oh, oh, you! Mayday. Doesn't matter. He's playing as a guy. Oof. And now Snake Eyes has to chase down the whole way. Oh my goodness, bro. That shit whiff punishes everything. Oh, that was so good by Shao Hai. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Good game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snake's face, bro. <laughs> I can see the pain, bro. Oh my goodness. He's like, bro. I don't know what's worse than this, but I don't deserve this. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is this is ultimate pain. Damn. And you're looking at like he's looking down to the right too. You know, that's a indicative of a person that knows like why the fuck am I playing this character? That is the ultimate sign. If you ever watch somebody and you see that. That body language, an FBI expert told me that that means that you're playing the wrong fucking character, okay? I'm not making that up. All right, so next. Woo, this matchup was hot ass, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. This next matchup, I, yeah, I, I don't even, I have no words. It is a Gaio versus a Bison from Street Fighter 4. Oof, this was... This was rough. Let's watch a... Uh, oh, I know. We could watch... Dominion versus Hyro. With like a meter and a half out the counter and like custom combos <laughs> are ass. Let's watch this. Oh, yes. Yep. Now, this matchup was tragic for many reasons. Um... Fireball Bison had no fucking. There's nothing he could do about it. He literally would have to hard read level one, or ultra one, or ultra two, and get maybe a jump in. But if he blocked a fireball and he was in a fireball trap, good night, game over. Exhibit A. On the stream. Yeah. Much luck to the Canadian team as always. All right, so, yeah, we all know this match is not good. Like, um, Bison's range that he dominates, Gal dominates even better. <laughs> so the challenge is, how can you get in that range safely? You can't. You can't. <laughs> and you can't jump in either because Sonic Boom has no recovery. <laughs> yeah. All you can do is neutral jump Look at and this. hope. Or block and hope. Can't even focus dash. The good news is if Bison does get a knockdown, you can really pressure Gal, right? But for, Bison... For, for, for a couple Look of at this. Yeah, but uh -oh. Look at this. Strong, strong Look at this. He, didn't go he went for Fierce instead. Yeah. 
All right, nice jump forward, but <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Woo -woo. Swag. <laughs> nah, like I don't have my glasses sampled, so like I can't. I don't want to squint at the screen. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I I do want. I did want to enter, but uh, sorry. Yeah, it's it's a lot of to play like this. Like I have to look. See how close they have to the monitor right now. <laughs> yeah, like I'll, I'll get them back in time for next week, though. Oh, shout out to Jazz. Though. Oh, Jazz on the stream? I think so. I see Chris Bond talking to him. Uh, yo, you got any of Jazz at mod status? Bro. When you got a moment, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. He has yeah, yet to get a chance to play up until now. All right, anyway, Jerron got that safe jump knockdown. Ooh, nice. Oh, now he's in the corner. That's not that good. That's one chance he had to really do some damage. And That's not good. Yeah, the blow up. But like I said, Gal controls the space where Bison wants oh. to be at better than Bison does. So it's a blow up. And he had the setup, and, and he messed it up. He messed it up, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so Kevin he had no option to deal with Fireball on reaction. Everything had to be preemptive. And Gal has such little recovery on his tool set. That that type of a play style of just committing to things, uh, and you don't really have any semblance of control, it just, it's just not a good recipe. You know what I'm saying? It was really, really hard to deal with. Um, so, for our last matchup, absolutely hated this matchup. I actually played this matchup. Elena versus Faye. Oh my goodness. This matchup was absolute horseshit. Elena could do so many things that Faye can do better than him. With the added caveat that Faye's buttons would whiff on her when she would crouch or when she was recovering. So a lot of the things that he was really good at with like punishing, she literally bypassed because she didn't have a hurt box. She could punish Rekas from max distance. So maybe infiltration watched that Dream Hack Winter finals and said, you know what? I think I have a good character choice here. Looking great so far. See her pestering. Her buttons. See? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Imagine. Imagine. But if she hits you, she gets a hard knockdown into set play. But you try to punish that, and it's like... Oh well. Nice try. See you next patch, bitch. Yeah, I'm like, alright. You right. Know. I'll hold that. Uh. 15 frame overhead. Imagine a dash that can attack you as an overhead at the same time. That's literally her EX overhead. And then she can combo off of it. This is such a great choice in two out of Fair character. Great anti-airs. Uh, oh my goodness. I hope she never comes back. Please. See how, how she can she can be outside of things, mm -hmm. outside of Rekka, and then all of a sudden she's in there. She's a really good footsie character. Very good button. <laughs> Little harassment. I don't feel like she's gonna do a ton of damage to you at once. Yeah, but only she if she can wear you down. Right, if she gets some particular situation, she could be pretty damaging, but in general play, yeah. Oh great we're nice gonna punish. Pluto. Oh yeah, she has a EXDP too. Ah, uh, and now suddenly Udo is losing. Ah, uh, again. Sorry, buddy. You're playing a bad game. Haha. <laughs> Thought you was playing a good game, huh? Oh. 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 Oh.
love the DP. Just about a little bit of Venus, but he oh my goodness. But he got that. Because he whiffed that DP. He had that EX and he takes the first game. I never want to watch that again. That that is traumatizing. It is not good for my blood pressure. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know below. What'd you think? Do you agree? That those are pretty fucking horrendous matchups? Because I I think so. I, I, I'd like to think so. Uh, let me know a matchup that you think I'm missing. Uh, any ideas for content you'd like me to divulge upon? With that being said, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let us let people know that we exist. That would be nice. And we will see you next time. Peace.